everybody, Vampire Lord 1024 here, and welcome to another game review of mine. Uh, so this is Interactive Buddy. I actually played this game about three years ago uh, on my channel, so if you want to uh, check it out, I'll hopefully remember to put it up in the upper right hand corner of uh, the video. So basically, uh, I want to say this game uh, came out in... Uh, either 2004 or 2005, because that's when I remember first seeing this game uh, on uh, ArcadeCabin.com. So uh, what basically it is, is it's this thing right here, and its name is Buddy. It's this circular, faceless, featureless thing. And um, as you can see up here in the left corner of the game, uh, basically... It shows a blue plus, meaning it's happy. Now, if you hit it with anything, it will show a red uh, minus, and the face will gradually go from smiling to really annoyed. Um, there's skins that you can uh, pick and whatnot. There's uh, this dude, Strawberry Clock, uh, Gregor the Goth, I don't know who he is. Some people. Uh, Tom, I don't know who this dude is. Uh, there's Buddy, and then there is the Teletubby, and of course, actual Napoleon uh, Dynamite from Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, so I'm just going to roll with uh, Tinky Winky, the purple Teletubby. Be quiet. So I know you can't really see it, but if you look really, really close, there's little dollar signs that actually pop out whenever you hit them. And you can see the money counter actually is going up. Um, so basically, there's really no objective of this game, I guess, other than just buy every single object and uh, modes and whatnot. Uh, so once you earned enough money, of course, you can go through and buy all the stuff. There's your wide nozzle hose, rubber balls, strong gravity vortex, bowling balls, pistols, these little... Um, fake infants, uh, there's the explode at mouth, which basically means that uh, you press the, you know, the mouse button, and then bam, it blows up. And of course, it'll tell you how much it costs and what group it's in. Uh, so there's god powers, there's explosives, there's miscellaneous, uh, there's guns, there's objects. Uh, and then, of course, there's special uh, whatnot. So uh, let's see, I have some grenades and stuff. There's some Molotov cocktails. Anybody like flamethrowers? So as you can see, he uh, showed a red minus up there. Uh, luckily, there is a fire hose or wide nozzle that I could use. Now he basically enjoys it. So basically, that's the game. There's also different modes that you can buy. There's low gravity. There's the NES style movement, alternate body physics, scripting engine access. I can't really see what all it says. Um, you can have a dynamic camera, which means that it goes directly to him. You can have an earthquake going on. Uh, you can have blood and gore, realistic pyrotechnics, uh, an FPS counter, which is kind of eh. You can have an open ceiling. So yeah. Um, I would like the magical orb. This is elite and um, this basically you can press backspace to delete it. So I uh, hit backspace so. And you can delete anything that you have bought within the game. And you can throw it. I really don't know what that does. Let's see you can, can't really can't really hit him. I mean, you, you can. Okay, I guess you can get money out of it. Um, something I like doing, if I could find it. Well, there we go. I like setting that on fire. Um, it, that's really about it, honestly. Um, I believe there's an interactive buddy too, but in my opinion, it's kind of meh. Um, so this game, I probably would give mm, a... 7 or 8 out of 10. It's fun, but it's it's kind of repetitive. Um, and whatnot. So. Oh, yeah. And this is what makes the game, in my opinion, the best. 
Oh yeah, the radio. Get up and dance, sir, Tinky Winky. I dare you. So yeah, seven or eight out of ten. Um, it's fun, you know. If you like uh, these types of little games, so hopefully y'all can hear me. If not, I'll just turn that down. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed and you want to do so, uh, just click that little subscribe button. It should be red if you're new, and it'll turn a uh, a grayish color, and a little bell icon will pop up near it. Click it. And then, you know, it should also say that you'll get notified about every new video. Once again, as always, even though not a lot of people give a fuck, um, you can follow me on my social medias below and whatnot in case you're not getting every new notification. Of course, if you aren't getting every new notification, I strongly suggest that you go to your YouTube apps uh, settings and click uh, where it says show notifications, uh, push notifications. So, um, of course, fan art is always acceptable. If you want to send me it, you don't have to be a artist or an artist to, uh, you know, make fan art. It's fine with me. Uh, all fan art, of course, counts. And obviously the person that makes it gets the credit for doing so. Um, as you may see, I know off topic, but his little, uh, gray circle, uh, face, smiley face up there turned blue. So, um, yeah, of course, I also got Amino, if you want to, uh, be invited to that. Discord server for those that like sneak peek behind the scenes stuff, of course, you gotta be subscribed and follow me on my social medias in order to join both of those, by the way. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I think I'll see you guys next time. Short review, I know, but hey, why not? Ah, Tinky Wee fucked it up. Good shit. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass. <laughs> All right, now back to the party. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Oh, man.